is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are starting a brand new series here on the channel, and it is going to be called WWE Action Figure Appointment or something like that. I don't know. Maybe you guys can help me change the name. But for now, I'm going with Action Figure Appointment. So you guys know we have WWE Action Figure Surgery. Well, before you get a surgery, you usually have appointments, right? You go in, you get your referral, you get whatever you got to do, and you have an appointment. But basically, the appointment series is going to be a little bit smaller version of action figure surgery. So on this series, we're going to be doing smaller things such as, you know, basic head swaps, basic uh, boot swaps, things like that. If, uh, you know, if I have like a couple things I want to do or one thing I want to do, we are going to put that on the appointment side of things instead of doing an action figure surgery on it because I want action figure surgery to be like 15 plus minutes and they usually are. But for the appointment series, that is going to be videos like 12 minutes or less where we do really simplistic swaps and things of that nature. So here today's episode, guys, we got some epic stuff. Now this will be the setup for action figure appointment. You guys can see we're in like this enclosed doctor's office type deal and that's what I'm going for. So today ladies and gentlemen, if you missed our toy hunt from yesterday we are going to be switching out two basic head swaps and then have a really unique swap that I'm really excited about using a Pete Dunn Elite not featured right here, but it has to do with these Finn Balor kick pads and I'm actually really really excited to swap it and see what it looks like. Uh, vomiting. Alright guys, so what we're going to do here today is very simplistic. I don't think it has to be too crazy. Get my crazy ass out of the way, Brad. So what we're going to do here, I was trying to use these to like stack our asses on because our asses weren't, you know, like look at this right here. You move the camera and he freaking, uh oh. He actually, he actually stood up. Well, if you sit him up, he'll like fall backwards and ish and it, it really pisses me off. So uh, what we're going to be doing here today, guys, is we're going to be taking this Lars Sullivan. We're going to zoom out a little bit. Uh, we're going to be taking this basic 105 Lars Sullivan figure and converting it into an Elite because I already have the Elite figure. This is what I've been using, my custom Elite Lars Sullivan. I've been using this Undertaker head sculpt for so long. It is finally time to retire that sucker and put on the official Lars Sullivan. And uh, I hate Lars Sullivan, honestly, as a talent. He's like in the category of Trashley and Corbin for me. So I am definitely, uh, I am definitely not a fan of that guy. But you know what? Uh, I feel like he, he he gets destroyed enough already, so I'm not even going to get into that. So that's the first swap we're going to do. The next swap we're going to do is be taking this Roman Reigns right here, and at the moment, I don't have anything to make him bare-armed. Um, that'll be probably on a surgery or something like that. We'll come back and revisit this, or maybe another appointment. We'll get in there. We'll reschedule him an appointment, but we are going to be head-swapping these two Romans. I think that will be a really nice swap for sure. And then lastly, a very sick-ass fix-up custom idea I had is taking the extra Finn Balor that we got and switching out his kick pads onto this Pete Dunn right here. So Pete Dunn will have white kick pads with the gold and black on the back. Another sick fix up would possibly be his new Elite, but I like the singlet with the white stripes and the white logos on here. So I think these kick pads over here are going to make this thing pop off. I know that these won't look good over here, but we can switch that at a later date. We can do something else at a later date. So I'm not really, you know, upset about that or, uh, you know, things like that. But not only are we going to be doing that, I know that we could just switch out the Finn Balor arms, but I don't think I'm going to just switch out the Finn Balor arms. Actually, you know what? Yeah, we are. We are. I had this Daniel Bryan over here ready to switch out arms, but why would I do that when I have these right here? So we're going to be switching the arms and kick pads of these two figures to go along with our two head swaps over here, and that is going to be our first ever WWE action figure appointment episode, and I'm ready to go, man. I think it's going to be an epic series, so with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and get into our appointment and assessment for today's episode. All right, guys, we can start off first with our head swaps. Now, I guess we can heat up Lars and Roman at the same time. I don't think it should be a thing. We should be able to get all of this all at once. I expect when I blow, uh, turn the blow dryer on, I expect my background and everything to just fly away so you can go ahead and prep yourself for this. Um, I'm kind of afraid of the Roman head sculpt, especially the longer hair version because uh, this Elite right here, getting the heads off sometimes can be very scary, so hopefully we don't run into a scenario like that. But um, let's go ahead and try our best here. Um, I can already see the jokes about the Lars Sullivan figure right here coming in uh, uh, yeah, what do y'all think about that right there? All righty. All right, guys, so now I'm going to get the white trusty hair dryer. Not only do we use the trusty hair dryer in surgery, guys, we got to bring them to the appointments, too, because without the trusty white hair dryer, we would have no way to do our surgery. So let's go ahead and get started right here with our first appointment ever here in this series. All 
All right, guys, it finally fell over at the very end there. Let's go ahead and see if we can pop this Roman head scan off. And, oh, my God, I forgot that they always make the peg hole small nowadays. Like, I don't know what's up with that. But uh, on this large, you got to be careful. When people have long chins and beards right here, when you pull that head scan off, this beard can tear at the ear. I've done it before. So you definitely want to be careful about that. Let's see if we can get the Lars Sullivan Elite head. Uh, okay, it just snapped off. Let's go ahead and pop this on here and see what that looks like. Hopefully it fits and isn't a piece of trash. We'll take a closer look at him at the end. Uh, now we're moving on to Roman. Let's see if Roman's head's gonna come off. Oh, God, no, Brad. That ain't gonna happen. Oh, hell no. Nah. I'll just have to come back to that later. You guys can see what the result looks like at the end because that right there, that ain't popping off right there. I'm going to have to heat that up more. But now let's get into uh, Pete Dunne, guys. So let's go ahead and put Pete Dunne and Finn Balor up here and go ahead and hit it so we can switch out these kick pads right quick. And then we'll move on to the arms and it should be something really simple. Uh, I kind of want to switch the arms first. Just Yeah, let's just switch the arms first because I want to look at the kick pads last. All right, guys, let's go ahead and switch out these arms. Hopefully, uh, this angle actually got it. And now that I'm looking at it, this damn P. Dunn shoulder is about to piss me off. Look how freaking loosey-goosey that is, bro. That's so damn stupid. Oh, my God, the Finn Balor's like on fire. I'd be shocked if we couldn't pull the damn kick pads off already, to be honest with you. That shit is on fire. All right, got the other arm over here. Go ahead and maybe, maybe you know, putting these other arms on here will make the shoulder tighter. Psych, Brad. That's not how it works. I wish. That'd be nice. Because everybody's shoulder, especially AJ Styles, I know his shoulders be loose. Kevin Owens be loose sometimes. I feel like every damn figure's shoulders get loose nowadays. That black wrist tape already looks better, to be honest with you. Um, oh, snap. Can I get this kick pad off? Oh, snap. Ah, damn, I couldn't get the second. All right, uh, what about Pete Dunn? Psych. Let's go back under the trusty hairdryer. All right, guys, let's see if we can get it going right here. Holy hell, that kick pad was hot. Oh, my God. All right, got that. The Finn Balor really don't want to even put the these on there. I don't see how that would be productive at all. And the Pete Dunn is being up. Oh, my God. That was super hot fire. All right, got that kick pad. Let's go ahead and pop the right one over here. And then the other. God in heaven. Oh, my God. Got it. Now pop this over here. Ugh. All right. All right, so we got Pete Dunn switched. Now, uh, I guess I'll see you guys at the end segment where we take a look at everything we've done here today on WWE Action Figure Appointment. All right, guys, so take a look at everything we've done here today on WWE Action Figure Appointment. You guys can see uh, clearly Roman's head is, like, too big, like, and it's super loosey-goosey. Like, look at that right there. Lars is kind of loose, too, I think. I think these heads are just too big, like, they make them too big or something, like the neck, the like, the peg hole is too small slash big on the inside for the actual elites. Uh, here's the Finn Balor with the arm and kick pad swap. Obviously, we don't give a damn about that. That was just trying to fill in parts. But the Roman does look good. I love the way that came out. Lars looks good, even though Roman's... I, I'm pretty sure Lars is like 6'8 or something like that, and Roman's like 6'3 or 6'4, so they should definitely be swapped in heights right there. I think it's because I'm using a Brock Lesnar body. I think I need to find something else, but I think this is the best formula for a Lars Sullivan, so I don't know. We'll have to work on that down the future or something but here's Pete Dunn and I think it looks pretty freaking wicked as a guy who loves white attires and everything like that the white really ties together nicely I think it's super weird to see Pete Dunn with white kick pads and white wrist tape but I don't think I'd ever seen it and I just wanted to see what that looked like but I think it, it I mean it comes together pretty nice I mean the only thing you could say is maybe have these triangles back here in black with red outline or red with black outline or uh, yeah I think that would look a lot better if you came in here and did you know the the outline of the gold in maroon it would look a lot better but nonetheless it still looks fire i still like the way the p dunn came out i like the way the lars and the roman came out and uh, again let me know what you guys think of this series um do you think it's pretty cool to do really quick swaps like this let me know down in the comment section below but that is going to do it for wwe extra figure appointment episode number one guys maybe it's the last who the hell knows we'll just have to see but thank you guys for watching subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram and twitter at my damn toys and i will see you guys in the next video thank you